Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm in my own bed in Baltimore, and it's a little chilly in here. And I'm under the covers, and I don't want to disturb my guests because they don't check out until tomorrow, but they said they didn't mind if I if I came and stuffed in my room. The door is locked, and um, I don't want to want to wake them up so I just um I want to come and say a prayer and then I'll just post that and this will be my devotion for tonight let me see I got uh, I got mine's one of my father's here can I read real quick can I see I took one of the lamps out of this room put it in my guest room so I can't do that. Let me see. Give me a word, Lord. <gasps> I'm sleepy. It's like 12.30 or something. Let me see. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Worthy, Jesus is worthy, he's worthy to be praised. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Jesus, blessed Savior, He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for bringing me home safely, keeping me safe on two flights, Father. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. And um, let me give a scripture. What's a good scripture for the Holy Spirit? What's the scripture for the night? Romans 8 38. 8, 8 30. Romans 8, verse 35 through 41. <sighs> What can separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep to the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. That's some good news right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And we recognize your blood and your body that you was broken for us we acknowledge communion mentally visually right now knowing that you suffered on the cross for our sins you didn't suffer in vain jesus by your stripes we are healed and we claim our healing and we remember what you did for us you could have came down off the cross but you didn't hallelujah and thank you for shedding your blood to cover our sins and Father, please forgive us for our sins and help us to forgive others of their sins. We release everybody in the name of Jesus. We release everybody of every wrong they've done to us. Because we need our Father to forgive us our sins so we forgive everybody of theirs. In Jesus' name I pray. God, I ask that you touch everybody from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet. Anything unlike you going on in their body. Father, I ask that you remove it. 
I don't believe the blood of Jesus over everybody right now and myself. No weapon formed against us will prosper and we will refute every tongue that accuses us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for a good night's slumber, Father. Thank you for comfort in hearts, Father. Thank you for setting free the captives. In Jesus' name, amen. Special blessing on my loved ones, Father, that helped me. Amen. Oh, excuse me. Good night, y'all.